Hey guys, today we will see how to create parametric trust rule in Revit. My name is Rishab and let's get started. First, open a conceptual mask. So either you can open from here or you can click on file, new, conceptual mask and then click, you can click on metric mask and then click on open. So first let us model the surface. So I will click on floor plan level 1. Now I am in the level 1 of the floor plan. I will click on the reference plane. So this is the option of reference plane. So I will just click on this. I will click on a picked lines. Let me give a offset. So I want to give a offset of 5000. So I will write 5000 and I will select this line and this line. Similarly, I will select this line and this line. Now I will press escape. I will click on reference. I will select this point element. And I will place the point elements in the junctions. Where the lines are intersecting, I will place the point elements. Then again, I will press double escape. Now, I will again click on reference. I will select a spline. And now, I will just click on this point, this point and this point. And then I will press escape. Similarly, I will do for these three points and I will press escape. So now I have created spline for all these nine points and I have created three lines. Now I will click on the view and I will click on default 3D view. So now I can see that I have created these three lines. I will select these three lines one by one. By pressing control I can select multiple lines and then I will click on create a form solid form so i have created a form now i can just click on any point and i can just displace this point so for example if i want to displace it like this so i can just displace it so by this way i can model my surface now after creating the surface i will create a single truss element for this surface so i will click on file then i will click on new i will click on family and i will open a metric curtain panel pattern base this option and this is a preview of metric curtain panel pattern base and now I will click on open. So this is the family by which we can create the truss, a single truss unit. Now first I will click on reference. I will click on a reference line and I will join the diagonal points. And where these two diagonal uh, lines intersect, I will just I will just place a point. And where these two diagonal lines intersect, I will place a point element in the intersection. So I will click on the point element and I will place a point element. Again, I will place one more point element on top of it. So it will give me a warning that there are identical points. It's OK. I will click on OK. Now I will just click on this identical point and see in the properties I have something called offset. So one way is that I can change offset here or if I want to set a parameter for the offset I will click on this right box in the offset and I will get a option of associate family parameter. Now I will click on this option of new parameter and let me name this as offset. 
and I will click on OK again I will click on OK now what I can do I can just click on the family types I will see option of offset under the dimensions let me give offset I will write minus 1500 and I will click on apply OK see I have got this type of offset so by this way if you want to set a parameter you can just click on the point and you can give a offset a parameter now again I will click on reference line I will just connect this point with with these all four points so now again I will go to reference I will select a reference line I will click on 3d snapping and I will just connect this point with this point similarly this point with this point this point with this point and this point with this point so I will create something like this I will click on model I will click on this point element and I will place a point element in between these two points in the line I will click on set now I will click on the circle I want to the pipes of the truss to be of 20 mm so I will just make a 20 mm circle now I will press escape now let me count the number of pipes which I will require I want five pipes so I will copy the circle five times so I will select this here I have a copy command this one I will just click on this make sure you have clicked on the multiple copies then I will just select this point and I will make five copies for this now to place them individually in each of the lines I will just select the circle here I have an option of show host I will click on show host now this pick new host has got activated I will just click on this and now I can just pick a new host for this point and the same I will do for this I will select a point I will click on show host and I will click on pick new host and I will pick a new host for this so I have placed all the points in all the lines first I want to make a covering here like I want a grass or a fiber here so I will select all the lines by pressing control you can select all the lines so I will press control and let me select all the four lines I will click on create a form I want a solid form I can change the dimension here I can just click here and maybe I want it all it to be 12 mm so I will just write 12 and I have changed the dimension if I want to change the material I will just select this see here I have option of material I will just click on the small box and a material browser will get open so I will see this type of dialog box I want a glass here so I will just click on glass and I will click on ok now I want to make the rods so I will select the circle and along with the circle I will select all these four lines so I will select this line I will press control I will select this line this line this line and I will press control and I will select this circle now I will click on create a form if you want to add a material here you can just select these pipes if you feel difficulty in selecting you can just press tab you can click on the material you can again click on the small box and maybe you want a metal here so I will just click on this create new material I will click on the asset browser and let me select a material for suppose I want a metal I want aluminium or maybe a fabricated metal this metal I want this type of finish I will just select this I will click on apply and I will click on ok now same thing I will do for these lines I will select the circle I will select the line and I will click on 
create a form solid form I will select the line select the circle create form solid form I will select the line I will select the circle again I will make this a solid form line circle and solid form now again I will change the material of these pipes also so I will select the pipe if you are facing difficulty in selecting you can just press jab I will click on the material and I will again just click on this default new material which I have added for this pipe and I will click on ok way one by one I will change the material of all the four pipes after doing this I will click on load into the project and I will load this into this project I will again go to my 3d default view I will select this shape and here I have option of divide surface I will just click on this so I have a I have U and V grid if you want to change the number of U and V grids so here is the option you can change the number after doing this you can just click on this surface when I will click on the surface in the properties I can see no pattern I will just click on this in the rectangle I can see the family 4 the one which I have made I will just click on this now see I have added the truss in my surface now if you want to change the height of the truss you can just click on this you can then click on edit family and see you have an offset now for suppose if I want to give an offset of minus 750 I can just write minus 750 I can click on apply and then on ok by this way I can change the height of the individual units of the truss so this is the way by which you can make a parametric truss in Revit. Thank you for watching it.